Welcome back to The Lead and topping our world lead. U.S. intelligence officials increasingly concerned about what's believed to be a covert Russian hacking operation potentially trying to manipulate the U.S. presidential election. In China this morning, President Obama weighed in on the escalating cyber campaign. What we cannot do is have a situation in which suddenly this becomes uh, the wild, wild west. President Obama warning Russia today about Moscow's expanding cyber attacks on the U.S. This is U.S. intelligence agencies are increasingly focused, U.S. officials tell CNN, on Russian influence on the upcoming presidential election. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper recently told CNN he's concerned the Kremlin may be seeking to undermine confidence in the vote. Is it your view that Russia has uh, the intention of if not influencing this election, undermining confidence in the U.S. political process. They see a, a U.S. conspiracy behind every bush. They believe that we are trying to influence political developments uh, in Russia. Their natural response is, is to retaliate. Multiple agencies are now assessing the scope of the Russian intrusion, which includes hacking into voting data and systems. Russia's intention is not clear, but may be less to help one candidate over another than to sow doubt in the overall process and final result. Was this just to stir up trouble, or was this uh, ultimately to uh, try to influence an election. And, of course, this is a serious, uh, serious proposition. So serious that today President Obama raised the issue as he and Russian President Vladimir Putin met on the sidelines of the G20 summit in China. We've had problems with uh, cyber intrusions from Russia in the past, from other countries in the past. And, look, we're, we're moving into a new era here uh, where... A number of countries have significant capacities. And frankly, we got more capacity than anybody, both offensively and defensively. Sources tell CNN the U.S. intelligence community believes Russia was behind the recent hacks of the Democratic National Committee, the New York Times, and think tanks in Washington. Investigators are also looking into who breached voter databases in the states of Illinois and Arizona. For his part, President Putin has denied any tampering. I don't know anything about it. And on a state level, Russia has never done this.